this old guy DIY video has to do with making a drag harrow. In my case, I'll be using it in food plots. I'll be doing about one acre after I put down the uh, seed, drag this thing to level the ground and also make sure the seed makes good contact with the soil. So I wanted to make something cheap out of material that I had around the house. So I made some of these things. You see it's a sandwich with four by fours and a two by four. In this case, it's a couple of two by sixes and a two by four. Then an old yard timber limp and a, uh, another four by four with a two by six on that one. But what I did is put uh, five spikes in one, then the next piece has four, then five, and then four. So I have them kind of staggered. But to mount the spikes, I took the two by four here and I drilled an angled hole with a quarter inch drill first. And I did that for all of them. And then I came back with a one inch spade bit and I took out enough material so that the spike would fit down flush with the top edge of the board. And then I just pounded those things in with a hammer. I should say I went back and I drilled a half inch hole then for the, the uh, half inch by four inch leg bolts to come through. And I just pounded them into the two by four. And then I laid the two by four on top of the four by four and basically made a sandwich. So I have all the pressure from the four by four being mated to the two by four with wood screws and if I find that the screws fail I'll put quarter inch uh, carriage bolts in there instead but for right now I thought I'd try screws and then on the back side I also put screws in one screw on each side of the leg bolt to discourage the thing from cracking out but this is upside down right now uh, I just finished assembling it oh and to set the position I, I drilled holes in each of the cross members about two inches from the end and I had some quarter inch cable laying around so I took the quarter inch cable in each case I threw a flat washer on the back and just took a cable clamp tighten that on so that'll hold it there and I just put one cable clamp behind each of the cross members then I just ran the cable across the back since I had enough cable anyway then I just laced them through Then when I came up here to the front where it'll hook onto the tractor or the ATV or lawnmower or whatever I want to hook it to, I used cable clamps again to tighten everything up. And then I took an old piece of garden hose and I ran the cables through that so it's easier for me to handle. I don't get cut and it's real easy to throw it onto a ball hitch for whatever it is that you have. So this is what it looks like upside down. And I, the other thing is when I'm done, uh, if in fact I need more weight, because this thing weighs about 160 pounds right now, roughly 40 pounds per cross member. If I need more weight, I'll just take and screw a couple of pallets on the back. And then I have some old tires that I'll throw on there for weight. But right now I'll flip it over and show you what that looks like. So this will be the position it's in when I'm actually using it in the field. You can see how those spikes kind of lay back and it causes the boards to lay forward. So, get that dragging motion. And I just set a pallet on there so you can see how that would look. And if I need more weight, I'll just throw a pallet on the metal too like that. And throw a couple of old tires on there. But, uh, this thing has some girth to it. And, uh, that's kind of a straightforward, cost-effective setup. And I think it'll do the job for me, and maybe it'll do the job for you. So I hope this idea helped you out. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Have a nice day.